So congratulations to the Toronto Blue Jays. Mm -hmm. Again, after a rough month, you know, well, I mean, and to be fair, these tickets were sold. Like, these tickets were sold well ahead of time and off-season tickets. Yeah, oftentimes. You know, we're in the yeah. from front end of the season where maybe the performance on the field doesn't matter too much yet. But still, uh, you know, the, we, it wasn't that long ago where you could shoot a cannon through Rogers Center and not hit anybody. Oh, yeah. It was like 2014 you could do that. Yeah. That's not that long ago at all. So to, to hit a million and be the first American League team. Listen, the Yankees are winning. Yep. Houston just wrapped up a 22 or about to wrap up a 22-win month. Mm -hmm. And I know it's not a, as big a stadium Minute Maid as, as Rogers Center, but for the Jays, with everything else that's going on in the American League to be the first team to hit this number, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. So congratulations to them. That's great. That's and fantastic. that monster May, Sydney, may lead to more people buying tickets. I mean, the numbers from April to May are near mind-boggling. And we need, we'll, we'll try and provide some sort of context once we rifle through the numbers. But the comparison, you said uh, 8 and 17 to 18 and 10, that's just part of the equation. Look at the rest of the numbers, especially when it comes to the offense. 5.29 runs per game. When you look at the average, I mean, you are up almost 40 points between the average in May and the average in April. And then the home runs is just. I mean, you're left scratching your head. Jose Batista gets it going. Kendris Morales gets it going. Devin Travis hits another one. That'll add to the extra base hits because Devin Travis keeps getting extra base hits. Do you have a reason why we're seeing the difference between April and May? I mean, because it's not just health. It's not. Here's, here's what I've come down to now with this team, especially John Gibbons' teams, okay? John Gibbons' teams in April suck. They do. Their winning percentage is poor, they're not strong, and May and June, especially recently, it's just a completely different ball game. It's, an, it's a different kettle of catfish. And I don't know what it means about how John Gibbons runs his spring training. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it means about injuries in certain years as guys get ready, but John Gibbons in April doesn't really know his team yet. I don't know why that's the case, Tim, but the numbers don't lie. And I just think this is a this is a characteristic, and this team is taking the DNA of its of its manager. Now, th their guys will say manager doesn't do anything. Manager should get no credit or blame in the game of baseball. Yeah, which is, to me is idiotic. Because then why do you have him there? But I just think there is something in spring training and how John Gibbons gets his teams ready that doesn't kind of jive in month one of the season. I, like, that's the only thing I can get to, and I'm sure people will Working disagree. Theory. What, what do you think? What do you think? Well, of that the there? one that's a negative. There is a positive that I see there too, is that each and every year he's figured out a a, a bullpen that has kind of oh, been yeah. cobbled together. Oh yeah. And at the start of the season, okay, Roberto Osuna wasn't healthy. He was trying to do too much, and he wasn't very good. But and it was coming off an injury. But. He wasn't very good, and the rest of the bullpen wasn't very good either. And now I see John Gibbons leaning on a few guys a little bit more. Jason Grilly's position in that spot has gone from eighth-inning guy. Like, I think a part of the equation is, in each of the last few years, a cobbled-together bullpen becomes a solidified bullpen by halfway through the season under John Gibbons. And I know... Like, sometimes I think that's overstated. The only thing a manager can do is his bullpen. Well, guys come out and they throw, and either they throw well or they throw awfully. And, or they don't throw well. <laughs> I got you. So, so, I'm on drugs. Leave me alone. Um, <laughs> I'm on drugs. <laughs> medication. Um, me and Tiger Woods. Um, oh, wow. Me, I'm right there, there with him, by the way. Is there any more? <laughs> nope. Okay. So, I think that he deserves a little bit of credit to for what you're talking about, and that is he figures things out as they go along. Now, I don't know if he can help the bats as much as they've been helped. I don't think that's the manager. I don't think that's where he's making it. Yeah. But the bullpen, definitely, I think he, there's, a, there's a, a part of that where he figures to get, he figures, he doesn't have Andrew Miller back there, right? No. Like, he doesn't have these $10 million, $8 million big name arms in his bullpen. He's just tried to figure, outside of Osuna, he's just tried to figure it out. And in terms of that bullpen, to what you're saying, John, everything all right? What's, are you getting attacked? Right. Is there a kid under there? I swear to God. Is there a kid? <laughs> no, there's no No, kid. Dagan's right there. It's fine. Um, he, John Gibbons is... A bunch of wires that Vinny loves. A bunch of wires? Yeah. Hey, one day we'll go wireless here. Yeah. The point is this. John Gibbons, unlike other managers, he's not afraid to try something in his bullpen. Like, how many yeah. guys would really let Osuna 
have the rope he did. Like, how many guys, Ryan Tapera sucked last year. Yeah. How many guys would trust Ryan Tapera? Ryan Tapera was awful in 2016. But you, you trust, John Gibbons trusts this. John Gibbons is not afraid to try things in his bullpen. And occasionally, they don't just cough up runs. Occasionally, they'll step up for you and they'll open things up and they'll, they'll down the, 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 the water of success. They'll down it. And, and once in a while, you'll leave and your thirst will be quenched with winds. Yeah. Did I try and tie the two together? No, that was good. That's right. I think, I think, I think you, I by the end, I think nice, right? by the end, you're stretching a little bit, uh, but it's understandable. Story, There's a guy coughing in the other side. Story by career. <laughs> stretching a little bit. Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays, um, they have a hell of a Yankee series. Is this just up. what it is, though? What, what do you mean by that? Like, is this just, like, it feels to me like this team is either boom or bust. No, we're, like, we're, that's just we're right what back. It is. Listen, you're. This team and the extra base hit numbers with the home run numbers, right? Yeah. Because it's not. And that's not sustainable. It's, 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 I don't think. We haven't thought it's sustainable for a long time. And they just keep at times dominating hitting categories. Like it happened, maybe not as much last year, but yeah, we but saw like, it too. We're years not going to see Jose Batista hit 10 bombs a month for the rest of the year. No, but I think, I think this team knows who it is. This team's going to hit home runs when they're feeling good, when they're feeling good. Mm -hmm. And if they continue to ride this, it's going to be fun. They're going to be in it in August. They're going to be in September. Might get into the playoffs hitting a whack of home runs. And if the rotation stays relatively healthy, and they're going to come up against a team in the postseason who has pitching and can zero in on them, and they won't be able to adjust. And they're right back to where they were. This is what this team is. I love how but, fun it is to watch them now. But hold on. They can't adjust offensively. But they never on. have been able to adjust offensively. But hold on. But hold on. You left one part of the equation. Out there. If they are healthy, their arms might be just as good as whatever team they're facing. They, the arms were great against Cleveland a year ago. Mm -hmm. They were very good. But Cleveland's this, were just that much better, were they not? When this team goes off that cliff in the postseason, when they can't adjust, it is ugly. We've seen it. I still don't know how they took it to six games against Kansas City That's two years That's the way ago. playoff baseball is played. Same thing happened to the Cubs for a vast majority of till they got hot. Till they got well, vast, vast majority, almost a game seven. A vast majority of till they got hot. Till they got hot. Till they got hot.